you guys may not have known, but iPhones actually have quite a couple differences within WhatsApp compared to other Android devices. Things like the blur tool, Siri, shortcuts, and voice recordings. So if you have WhatsApp, stick around because you're about to learn something new and I have a couple free wallpapers for you guys at the end, so let's get into it. This voice note hack is super useful and let's just say you're in a WhatsApp chat and you want to send a voice note. Then all you're going to do of course is hold down on the mic icon and swipe up to lock it in place. Then of course say what it is you want to say or record your voice. But what you can then do is actually exit this chat completely just by swiping up and then if you head on back to the chat you will see the voice recording you just made at the bottom of the screen. So now you can listen to your entire voice recording before sending it, which is super awesome. And if by accident you said a little something sneaky and you don't want to send the voice notes, you can just click that little trash icon and it will delete your voice notes. I mean, talk about a nifty feature. Some features on iPhone, WhatsApp are not exactly obvious, just like this one where if you swipe left, you can actually mute a contact's status. It's literally as easy as that, just a quick swipe left and then tapping on the mute button to mute their status. Another quick thing you can do is if you swipe left on a chat, you will see this archive icon and if you click on that, it'll just pop that chat into your archives. What I like about this is it really cleans up your WhatsApp home screen so it looks super neat and you don't have a bunch of open chats. And if you ever want to bring one of your chats back, just click on this archive chats section. Now this one is a great reminder and let's just say you get a chat usually you see this little blue dot on the right hand side of the chat. So if you open the chat and then exit of course the blue dot is now gone. But what you can do is put that blue dot back simply by swiping to the right. You will see this little icon that says unread and if you tap on that it'll place another blue dot on the right hand side so that you are reminded to read this message and respond later. I personally use this feature all the time so that I don't forget to respond to people even though I still do. But either way this is an awesome little feature and and it's literally as simple as swiping to the right to remind yourself about some chats. This is another feature I really enjoy but is completely different on iPhone. So if you swipe right on a chat, of course you know the unread icon now, but you will also see this pin icon and if you tap on that, it will of course pin your chat to the top of the page and no matter what message you receive, it'll always drop down below the pinned chat. You can also pin multiple chats again just by swiping right and you will have all of them constantly pinned to the top of your WhatsApp home screen and no matter what new messages you get they will always drop down below those pinned chats. And then you guessed it if you want to unpin any of the chats to swipe right and tap on the unpin icon and of course they will drop down but this is a great feature especially for contacts you chat to often on WhatsApp. Did you know you can lock your WhatsApp using Face ID? So if someone's on your device and they want to be super sneaky and check out your chats, you can stop the sneaky behavior from happening by activating Face ID. So what you're going to want to do once in WhatsApp is head on over to the settings button in the bottom right hand corner. Then head on over to accounts and at the top click on privacy. Right at the bottom you will see screen lock and if you tap on that you can toggle on the option that requires face ID. And also be sure to leave it on the immediate setting because it'll happen every time. And then in future if anyone is on your device and they open your WhatsApp, boom! It requires face ID, a thank you very much. So of course if it's your device and you look at it, it'll unlock straight away. But unless they've got an exact replica of your face in a mask, I mean let's get real, WhatsApp ain't opening for no one. So this is a great security feature and pop it on in your settings. <laughs> Yes indeed, Siri can read out your latest WhatsApp messages and all you do is say hey Siri. She will of course respond and then you say read out my latest WhatsApp message for me. Then just like that she will tell you who the message is from and of course read it out. And if you head on back into WhatsApp, you will see she has read it out word for word, which is super nifty, especially for hands-free stuff. What's also really cool is you can ask her to send a WhatsApp message for you. All you do is say, hey Siri, send a WhatsApp message for me. She'll ask who you want to send it to. Then of course, select the contact you want to send to and read out the message you want her to send. She will dictate the entire message just as you see here and then ask if you are ready to send. You just say send and then the message will be on its way and bam, the other person gets their message. So you can do this all hands free. I absolutely love it. 
Now this is a really cool little creative feature and if you head on over to your status and you want to post a status update, of course all you do is grab the picture you want to post, but if you click on the pencil icon right at the bottom, you have two really unique features. And the first one is a monochrome brush where if you brush anywhere over your image, it'll turn the image into black and white. So as you can see, wherever it is I brush on the image, it completely removes the color and turns it into monochrome. The other really cool feature is the blur tool and it's got this funny little grid pattern that's how you know you're on the blur tool but again no matter where on your image you paint with the brush it'll blur out the image completely what you can also do is even extend the size of the brush and make it bigger and then when you go over your image as you can see the blur is huge these are a lot of fun and i must admit i haven't seen them on any android device so yay iphone Then another quick little nifty feature is if you swipe left, you usually have your recent section. But if you click on that edit button and scroll right until the bottom, you will see the option of WhatsApp. If you click on the plus icon, it'll obviously add WhatsApp to the recent section and you can just move it around to whatever best suits you. So I just popped WhatsApp at the top of the selection. And now in future, when you head on over to your recent section, the bam, right at the top there, you will see your latest WhatsApp conversations. And if you click on the down arrow, you will see the latest status updates that have been posted by your contacts. So this is a nice little quick access feature that you can add if you want. Then, have you ever noticed that if someone sends you a WhatsApp message with something resembling a date, you will notice that the date is underlined and if you click on it, you can create an event literally as simple as that. It will of course populate the date automatically for you and then you just pop in whatever it is, perhaps if it's a birthday or whatever, and save the date. What's also really interesting is how many different types of options of dates it can pick up. Even if the message is as simple as 9 Mar, it'll know it's the 9th of March. What's also really cool is if a time was in the WhatsApp message, when you go to create the event, it'll also populate the time as you can see there and once again i've not seen this on android devices okay now within whatsapp on iphone if you head on over to a chat settings you will see there is no option to create a home screen shortcut to this chat so here is a little hack if you head on over to the shortcuts app on your iphone and you tap on it you will see the option that says create shortcut once again you're going to tap on that and then add an action You'll see at the top left hand side is this applications icon. Tap on that and then scroll to the bottom until you see WhatsApp. There are quite a couple of steps involved, but nonetheless, totally worth it. So once you have selected WhatsApp, go ahead and choose the top option. And then what you're gonna do is choose a contact. So you just click on that plus button. And of course I'm adding Hales World because I want this to be the shortcut to chatting with Hales World. Click on next and now you can customize this shortcut a little more. So I just said WhatsApp Hales World and then here is where you can customize it a little further and make it your own. So choose any color your heart desires. I went for teal because that's my favorite color. And over here you can choose a different icon. There are so many different ones to choose from so go through them all until you're happy. I decided on this one and then go ahead and click done. Finally what you're going to do is click on those three little dots then again, those three little dots in the top right hand corner and then you'll see the option add to home screen. Tap on that selection and then click add and finally your shortcut will be added to your home screen. As mentioned, quite a couple steps involved but what's really cool is if I click on this little icon now, it'll open up the chat to Hales World that I created every single time. Rock on! Onto the free wallpapers that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. You guys can download all of these four completely free from my website. All you do is head on over to hailsworld.com. If you click on the menu section, you will see free iPhone WhatsApp wallpapers. Download as many as you want or your favorite one. And then to add it to your WhatsApp chat screens, just head on over to settings. Under chats, at the top, you will see chat wallpaper. Then head on over to your photos where you've saved the wallpaper. Select your favorite one. And just like that, you've got a really cool new looking whatsapp chat wallpaper i'll have a link down in the description bar to my website so you guys can quick and easily download these and also let me know in the comments which is your favorite wallpaper out of these four i really hope you guys enjoyed them and i made them with a lot of love if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other whatsapp videos right over here but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one toodles